ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of the manager career mode today kicking things off with a match against the last my headset is way too loud right now um but we're playing against the number two team in the league and now today is also going to be where we do the transfer window um it's obviously only a month long and we don't have any games during it so it's a one episode thing uh we're gonna make any signings we need to that makes us feel like we're gonna win the league and also i just realized i saw it last second uh we're playing against manchester united in the round of 16 which means we're playing against pats and daca oh my god it all comes full circle. We have to play against our ex-top goal scorer, our $120 million man that went to Manchester United in the Champions League. That is going to be absolutely huge. We're going to go with our full starting lineup here against Lask. Uh, and then we'll, we'll obviously, I'll get into the transfer window. We'll do all of that today. Um, so we'll go through and sign whatever center back or midfielder that we want to bring in. Uh, that's really, the, I think, the only two positions that I want to strengthen in. Um, I could bring in a backup right back, but I don't think I need to. I could bring in another goalkeeper, but again, we don't have that much money right now. Uh, we'll see how much money we end up getting. I don't even know if I'm going to get the money from the Champions League group stage or if that's just going to count as profit towards next year. So I'm not sure how that's going to line up. We'll see. But let's hop into the game. Let's do what we can. Let's get this win and stay top of the league uh, for the for the first half of the season. All righty. I'm excited. <laughs> the team's been playing so well recently. Obviously, the first team doesn't really play in the league that often until we need them for the, for the really big, big games. And this is obviously one of them. Um, but very excited to hop into the match on this snowy, cold evening against the number two team in the league, Lask, uh, who has their fair share of goals and things. Obviously, we're the top scoring team uh, by, by some margin, but Lask is definitely up there. They got some scorers on their team. They, they, they definitely have some very, very good players that we need to keep our eye out for, um, but <clears throat> definitely excited to hop into the match. Oh, this over the top. Oh, what a snag from the defender. Oh, I just got shredded. Oh, my. I just got absolutely shredded by that Ronaldo chop. Good Lord. Why did I fall for that so hard? First game of the day. You know how it is. Always a little bit of a slow start. Now, Lask has only conceded 10 goals in 18 games. They are absolute beasts. Why is nobody getting in the box? What is going on? Ball into Tito Vialba. Try to put it back post into Okugawa. He's not going to get there. Header across, into Mwepu, huge touch. Back to Okugawa, down to Hichan. I ah, tried to get it around the defender before he got there. Oh my God, that tackle. Oh, look at that through ball, Hichan. One of the last kicks of the first half. Let's go, baby, the one-two with Okugawa. Dude, this defense is hard to break down, boys. This defense is hard to break down, but we finally get the, the tie-up goal here. We're back on level terms going into the second half absolutely killing it beautiful ball in beautiful touch and then the cross body right net shot is just absolutely beautiful from Hichon. continues to impress in the few games he does get in the league obviously top goal scorer in the champions league for a reason but continuing to prove it here in austria as well um after his return from leipzig let's go baby let's hop into the second half and keep this thing going hopefully win this game Let's get that over to Mwepu. I see a little run here from Okugawa. Through ball. Hichan chips the keeper and there's the goal. Let's go, baby. Hichan gets his brace and he does it with an absolute beauty of a chip over the keeper who was diving. And he gets the goal. Let's go, baby. The beautiful run. Look at this diagonal run. And then gets the chip over the keeper. Oof. Dude, I haven't chipped in a while. I have not chipped in a while. That one felt really good, though. Oh, this is well done from Lask. Oh, the cross. No, you got to get that ball. How do we let him get that touch there, dude? Lask ties it back up. 2-2. Two, two. I'm playing horrible defense today. Absolutely atrocious defense in the middle, man. I'm okay on the wing, but dear Lord, am I bad down the middle right now. And I don't even think it's the player's fault. Oh, go out for a corner. Thank you. Corner opportunity. Let's get this ball up to Wobber. You know the rules. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Almost another goal. 
It's always a good game against Lask. Little through ball. Kellen Acosta. I not able to get the cross. 90th minute. We have a corner opportunity. You already know where it's going. Front. Wobber. Oh. Keeper comes up with a huge save. We still have it though. Get a little flick over the defender. Tito. Just smash it. Oh. Ow. I thought we had it. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, if Tito was right foot, he would have just scored that too. Oh, that was so close. What a game against Lask. It's always a good game. Can't wait to see him second time in the second half of the season, as well as the playoffs, I am sure. But that was a really good game. Let's hop into the window. I'm going to see what kind of uh, improvements we need to make with the team. I've listed a bunch of players, so all of these guys are just saying that they're uh happy to hear it and all of that stuff along with Wobber saying he's happy he continues to be able to play um but i'm gonna go ahead hop into um the transfer window and i'll show you guys obviously any signings that we end up making all right so the window has officially closed and uh we received a few offers for Wobber. tried to get some more money out of him i wasn't willing to let him go for anything less than 50. they weren't able to play pay it so that is totally fine by me um had a bunch of, bunch of youth players go out on loan. And then uh, we also managed to sell a couple players and bring in a couple players. So we brought in Oscar Dorley, a player that I was actually interested in in the last window. Liberian center defensive mid, center mid, has decent pace, um, very, uh, 72 or 73 defending. Um, very good midfielder, looks to be an absolute beast, only going to progress from here. Also has the capability to play right mid as well, so very important uh, asset to the squad. We went back in for Hiroki Abe, got him for $6 million, and he's only on a 56k uh, wage, which is not bad at all, and he's on rotation, so a lot better than uh, what we would have had to pay in the summer. And then we also got Thomas Konenchi, uh, who is uh, from... Well, Portland Timbers in real life, but he was a free agent. So went ahead and signed to a sporadic contract, uh, 8,700 wage. So not bad at all there. Um, let me see. Can I see the other transfers that I made? I sold Christensen, our center back, um, to bring in a little bit of funds because they ended up offering like 25 for him, I believe, if I remember that correctly. Uh, actually, oh yeah, we can go to transfer history. Um, and then my club. So... As you guys see, a lot of players on loan. We brought in Dorley for 18 million. Christensen left for 24. Um, and then Seawald also left for 1.8. Tim Parker left for 3.4. Um, and then we made some loan deals as well. So definitely some good business, in my opinion, through the window. Um, and I think our team honestly got better for it. I did let the boys rest, so some of their sharpness is going to be a little rough coming back. But we do still have a few games before we get ready for the... Um, before we get ready for the Europa League, Jean Lucas, Jean Lucas plus three million for Wobber. Obviously, this would happen next window, but interesting offer. Not that pacey of a guy. Decent ball control, decent dribbling, finishing's a bit poor, crossing's a bit poor, long passing's really good, short passing 81. He definitely has some room to grow. Not the fastest guy in the world. What's his defensive stats? 67 is a bit tough because I definitely I wouldn't play him in my two center mid positions. I play him at CDM if anything because I do need a little bit of a injection into pace um, for those two forward center mids. So not sure I want to take this deal. I'm gonna go ahead and reject it. I do like that they can they can offer player trades because I do enjoy seeing some new players that I haven't heard about. So let's go ahead and hop into this game. This will be the last game of the episode. The boys are back in full fitness. Um, obviously, not full sharpness, so not everybody has that increased stat ability that they had before. Uh, but I figured just rest the boys. I don't want any training injuries or anything going into the second half of the season. Um, so we just took a little bit of a month long break for most of the guys. They've been training for the past two weeks, though. And now it is time to hop into the last game of the episode. Um, and again, this uh, this upcoming month in February, we are going to be playing against Manchester United in the round of 16 in the Champions League. Absolutely crazy. We get to play against Pat Sendaka, the man that we sold for $150 million or whatever it was um, in the last window. And I'm excited to play against Man U. Just being back in the Champions League is very intriguing. Obviously, 
We are here. Uh, my goal is to win the Champions League with Salzburg. I know it's an Austrian team, obviously. We don't have a ton of funds, but we've managed to sell some great players and buy even better players or equal to and uh, just continue to progress. So let's continue that energy and uh, see if we can see if we can win the league in the Champions League this year, maybe even move on. Little through over the top through ball into Hichan. What a ball from Wepu. And you already know Hichan's putting that in the back of the net. What a ball. I don't know why their defense decided to play a high line right there, but it opens up for the pacey Hichan. The ball here from Wepu was an absolute dime to get that into the path of Hichan at the right time. Gets the touch, gets the shot, and gets the goal. Hichan back on the score sheet, continuing to impress, getting ready to prove himself as the better striker over Pat Sindaka. Oh, if he's on side right here. Oh, he was on side. I just couldn't get the small enough touch to keep that. That was beautifully done from them. Varon went to Man U. Oh, God, this game's going to be annoying, dude. This game is going to be annoying. Varon in the back line and Daka up top, which, of course, I mean, they probably still have Cavani or somebody, but if they start Daka, we know what he's capable of. We know that pace well. It could be tough. Oh, look at that through ball from Wepu into Okugawa. Gets the goal. I'm not going to lie. I've kind of just been focusing on possession, playing a little bit slower, seeing what we can do. That way we have two different dynamics of the team. Um, and this seems like a good game to do it against because this is a good passing team that we're up against. Um, defensively, they do make mistakes, but we pulled some players out of position with the passing. Did well. Got the pressure on Mwepu. Got the through ball into Okugawa, who grabs himself another goal. There was an offer that came in for Okugawa for a decent amount of money, but I decided to keep him. It was about $25 million. Um, but I was asking for about 35 to 40 if I was going to let him go. And they weren't willing to pay it. So we managed to keep Okugawa for another year. Ooh, another. Oh, wait. Get that through ball into Almada. Ooh, Hichan. That ball was bad. Oh, Hichan back post. Hi, that finish was atrocious. I wanted to go for a freaking uh, uh, header there. Dang. Oh, nice little ball here. Tito Vialba, end of the game. Have a go. Can't get the goal. I was waiting for somebody to get middle of the box, but nobody was there. And that is A-OK. -okay. We're going to get the win, and that's all that matters. Oh, wait. Ball back into Gio Reyna. Have a go, son. I barely misses upper left, but that's all right. We get the 2-0. We get the win. We get the points. And most importantly, we get the fitness back because we are trying to get back in top form before we do have to play against uh manchester united so let's see how many episodes do we have until then it may actually be next episode minnesota united wants uh wood for these i'm just doing loan offers i don't want loan to buys because they're all very good potential players um and we don't want to lose them to other teams so next episode we have a cup match against rapid vn and then we have a league match and then the episode after that we'll play against Sturm, who's a top five team and then Manchester United in the Champions League. The good news is, is that that's the end of the regular season against Sturm, and then we're going to be starting the playoffs. So that will break up our schedule a little bit. That will allow us to focus on the Champions League, hopefully. Um, again, the Champions League is the focus, but we are also going to be trying to focus as much as we can on the playoffs because I do still want to win trophies in the league just as much as I want to win the Cup here as well. So, of course, fixture congestion will become a thing over time, but hopefully not too bad that we're still able to go for the win and every trophy we want but that is where we are going to leave it for today if you guys did enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe and until the next one i'll see you guys later peace is it my fault?